come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this one is right down the middle. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So with less than a minute gone by here in this fourth quarter, the field goal there gets this thing back to even. And it's setting up for a fantastic finish, isn't it, partner? It's been a well-played game, a hard-hitting game. The fans are into it. The announcers are into it. This is going to be a great fourth quarter. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They start the drive with Connor. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he connects with Vance McDonald. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Give him 22 yards, and that's also where they snapped it from, the 22. Roethlisberger now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. On first and ten is Connor. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. At the 43-yard line. All right, now. Like 80. 50. On second and 11 now, Roethlisberger, and it's incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't get that done on that play. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Go, go. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Jabal Sheard wreaking the defensive havoc. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. The Steelers will go. It's Roethlisberger. He's going to go for a big play downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. It was Quincy Wilson that time was able to make the play defensively. Boy, an incredibly aggressive move to go for it there. Game tied fourth quarter. you got to be surprised. I am, and I know that we're in a new era of football where we look at the analytics sometimes, and a lot of time the analytics tell you to go for it, right? But do the analytics take into account game situation, where we are, all those things? In this situation, I thought it was an incredibly aggressive play. It didn't work out, and again, tie game fourth quarter makes this thing a little bit more interesting. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down now, it's Hines. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. 11, 11, 11. They'll fake the handoff. Now long. And that will be incomplete. Fourth down now defensively. Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. And that is no good. 
and a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. What a tough spot to miss a kick. Just an absolute letdown. Look, they got themselves in the field goal range, gave them a chance to take the lead. They come up go, empty, and now you wonder, will their offense ever see the football again? Yeah, because on the other side, run through the post, and this thing could be over. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Here's Connor. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for him with Roethlisberger. And he's got Moncrief. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time. And the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Roethlisberger to throw. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window. And everything is flipped in the other direction. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From his goal line here, Locke. And that one falls incomplete. A 50-50 ball, a little dangerous, could have been picked. Now it's third down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. He may try and run for this. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. Switzer on the return. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They can still get into field goal range, partner. They got to work quickly, though. I agree with you totally. Find a way to get the ball downfield and out of bounds. In a perfect world, they know what hash they want to get to for their kicker, and they already know the distance that he feels comfortable. That'll dictate what they do on offense. See if they can get in his range. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Roethlisberger. And yes, complete to the tight end, McDonald. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A gain there of 21 yards. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call.
So on now for the field goal try, Chris Boswell. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So on now for the field goal try, Chris Boswell. This from 51 yards for the win. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. So a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Out of the gun, block. And he's got his man, Hilton. T.Y. Hilton, nobody to beat. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A partner, great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. You really just wanted four quarters, <laughs> what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that time.